past, you know why we, we put pastors and uh, even their children close to pastors? Because, because, because we need to protect them. We really need to protect pastors, their wives, I wanted to tell you why we protect pastors. Because pastors are your problems. And you are the problems of the pastors. I'm talking about the problems you have. Pastors, the problem they have, they need you. Are you hearing that? The pastor will never be a pastor until you recognize it. You can kill pastors and raise them. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? You are the one who can kill pastors and raise them. The problem of pastors, you are the one who solved them. We are anointed for you. You are anointed for us. Can I tell you this? You must never sit down with a problem without consulting your pastor. Because the solution of your problem is God. with your pastor. I don't know if you're hearing me. Amen. If, listen, there are secrets <laughs> that you won't be able to tell your friends. <laughs> but the moment when you tell your pastor, <laughs> That challenge is half solved. Challenge is solved. Half. Yeah, Do you know why people have problems that they cannot solve? Because they are taking battles to themselves. God allows problems. Challenges, the challenges, situations, situations to come to us so that he sees where you run to. Look here, even when the pastor is not very much anointed, but for you to go and say, Pastor, I I your prayer, this is my problem. That problem is solved. Do you know that if you don't do that, you are going to think your time of resting will be taken. We are the ones who are creating problems to ourselves. We feel this is my problem. I cannot tell anyone. So if you come to me, we sit down together. And you want to know your problem. I will tell you where the problem started. There are other pastors who will never tell you. You will tell them their problem. They will lay hands on you. And that problem will despair. The problem does not go away. First, physically. It goes away spiritually. First. The reasons why that problem is still troubling you. Because it has done something in your spirit. I don't know if you are hearing it. We need to reach a level whereby. We allow this problem to come out from our spirit. So that God will be involved. I'm just trying to teach you something that you can make you to understand why your problem needs us. If you sit with your problem, you never make it. 
if you sit with disease, you never make it. If you sit with a challenge, you will never make it. I don't know if you are hearing me. This is the time now that don't undermine pastors. They have your problem. Okay, look at this one. One man of God was passing one woman was having a problem of childbearing so that man he said this man always passes here and the, he, she perceived as a man of God. Because because that's, that's what you need to do. The reach. moment when you understand this man is a man of How God, you, you, you come close. So she came close to the man. As a man of God, please. The way you are working, you are tired. Come to my house. I know that she wanted to tell them. But she didn't know that this man was different. She, she has told many who could not solve the problem. They gave her hope. That, that never came to pass. But now, when this man came, this man noticed something. You know, the man of God notices. They don't perceive they notice. When, when you are working, they notice. Oh, this waist is broken. You are trying to hold it nicely. But the man of God will notice this, this, this is not normal. Are you hearing that? And says, no, we need to address this. But we cannot address if she didn't do anything. Listen, listen. She solved the problem of the man of God. The man of God wants to solve her own problem too. Your challenge needs challenge our challenge. challenge. Our challenge needs challenge. 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 You normally forget where you come from. Your blessings will tend to be a curse. Do you know the same man who prophesied that the boy will happen? Will the Bible says one day, the same boy was sick. I said, Had egg, had egg, had egg. And the boy died. And the boy died. And the boy died. And the boy died. Now the same man who prayed for that boy was not there. The same man. Was told that the boy died. And he sent a servant. The servant who loved money. Motanka wa orata mashili. As they take this stick, and they put it to this boy, the boy will rise. It never happened. He says, "Okay, what? Okay, okay, all right, okay, yeah, all right, miss me." Tabaye tokanna, and the man lie on the boy. Mona wala asipila ya roba la odima mshima nyan. The boy sneezes. Mshima nyano wa itimul and rise up to walk. Atsuwa pila. We must not make mistakes. Reskadi ya diposo. We must not make it. If you have a problem, it needs us. Our problem needs you. Check if you are solving ours. Check if we are solving yours. Because we need each other. I pray that today you understand this message. May God prosper you. God bless you.